the second Spectre trailer was released two days ago. James Bond has to save the world once again. He's played once again by Daniel Craig. Some people are excited, and some people naturally are disappointed. I'm a huge Bond fan, not that I'm a Bond nut bar, okay? I've seen every Bond movie. The Casino Royale spoof doesn't count. Uh, not that I've seen it. I'll never see it, okay? Maybe some people like it. Well, it doesn't matter. The World Is Not Enough is the first Bond movie I've seen. I was 12. Yes, I own several Bond movies. My favorite is Skyfall, followed by Casino Royale. Yes, Daniel Craig is my favorite. Sean Connery is the big favorite. And yes, he was good. I understand why some hate Craig. Mexico City. What were you doing there? I was taking some overdue holiday. Spectre looks good. It's action-packed, gritty, and mysterious. Yeah, the cinematography is good. It's very appropriate since Sam Mendes returned to direct. He directed Skyfall as well. It's the first Bond movie to gross a billion dollars. He recently announced he's leaving the Bond franchise. Maybe he's burnt out. Let's talk about the gritty tone. Some people are naturally disappointed with it. They feel Bond shouldn't be gritty. It should be fun. The movies should be crazy. I prefer lighthearted stuff, but I actually like this tone. Franchises have to change after a while, change over time. Movies reflect the time. After Daniel Craig retires, I'm sure the franchise will become fun again. Maybe the franchise is actually becoming fun again. As dark as Skyfall was, it had some humor. Maybe Spectre will have some humor. Spectre's logo is an octopus or a squid, which is interesting because in the From Russia With Love video game, Spectre has been renamed Octopus due to legal mumble jumbo. I think that's why Quantum was created. If the Bond producers had the rights, you know, 10 years ago, they would have used Spectre from the beginning instead of creating a similar organization. Well, now that there are two criminal organizations, well, apparently, well, we're speculating. Are Spectre and Quantum the same organization? If not, are they rivals, allies? Welcome, James. You came across me so many times, yet you never saw me. What took you so long? Christoph Waltz is playing the villain. I forgot his name. It doesn't matter. It could be an alias. I think it's playing Blofeld. I won't be surprised if he gets scarred at the end and escapes to blow some more shit up. Months ago, I read an interview with Barbara Broccoli. She said the new Blofeld will have to be very different from the old Blofeld because Dr. Evil ruined the character. He's so memorable. Okay, I'll never do that again. It was me, James. The author of all your pain. So yeah, Spectre looks good. It should be fun. Will it be better than Skyfall? I honestly don't care. It doesn't matter. Let me know what you thought of this Spectre trailer. Did you like it or hate it? Alright, I'm going to quickly talk about Ant-Man. I didn't review it because honestly I'm losing interest in reviewing stuff. Yes, Ant-Man was good. It's a lot of fun. The action and effects were good. The villain was bland. Yes, Peyton Reed did a good job. I was optimistic for him. Yeah, Ant-Man would have been better if Edgar Wright stayed on. It's a shame he quit. I knew about the bonus scenes, but I didn't watch them. Yes, I, I looked them up online. As always, thanks for watching, guys. I will shoot my next Q&A tomorrow. It will be shorter than the last one. I'm excited for Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. It should be fun. I'll talk to you later.